Hi everybody and welcome. I'm Coach Carolyn Lepper, certified instructor and a professional former tour player. And today we're going to talk about how to get and stay unstuck. So getting stuck is a very common term and also unfortunately a very common phenomenon when we swing the golf club. And I want to explain to you a couple of things. Number one, why it happens. Number two, what you can do to get rid of it. And number three, some drills that help you maintain that unstuck swing that we all want to have. So let's jump into it. So let's jump into why you're getting stuck in the first place. Where does it all start? And I'm really big on cause and effect, essentially the root cause of something happening later on in the golf swing, because everything that you do in the golf swing has a reaction to it. It's an action and reaction sport. Um, because there's a lot of gravity involved, because there's a lot of forces at play. So we want to make sure that we're giving ourselves the best chance in our setup and in the start of the golf swing to actually not have to compensate later on and to not get ourselves into the woods or stuck in the woods, <laughs> if you want to refer to it like that, because we're definitely getting stuck sometimes. So essentially why it happens is a lot of people have a not so great takeaway. And if you're already getting behind yourself in the takeaway, and when I say behind, it's that you kind of get your club inside. So this is the nine o'clock position right here. If you look from down the line here, my club head is actually covering my hands and I want you to pay attention. So this is, this is a pretty neutral position, which a lot of people would be okay to be at. Like a lot of amateurs, if they get at the nine o'clock position in the backswing down the line, if they get their club head to cover their hands, I'm pretty happy with that. Ideally, if you look at the tour players right here, they'll be outside. It, the club head will be outside their hands. It won't be covering them. But again, anywhere from here to here, I'm okay with for my students and for an average amateur golfer. What you do not want to be is here. Anything that is behind your hands this way is death. <laughs> that is death to contact, death to golfer. That is not, not where you want to go. This is illegal. It is jail. You're putting yourself in jail when you're back here. So let's stay out of jail, guys. This is make it a hashtag. Let's stay out of jail. I mean, this kind of applies to everyday life, so I would hope we can manage, but at least let's manage it in the golf swing. So when you're taking it back again to that nine o'clock position, you want to make sure that you're either covering your hands with your club face or that your club face is outside your hands. We're not here. If you go in here and this is again jail, we're in jail and that's why you get stuck. You're stuck in jail. You are already flat. You can't really turn well. And then what happens, you're behind yourself, you're low, most likely, and very shallow and flat in your backswing. And you're also very lifty because there isn't really much rotation. You're going to have to lift to get the club up because if you're down here and you're just rotating, your club stays low. But everybody knows you got to get up here somewhere. So what do I have to do? I have to lift. But this has nothing to do with actual shoulder rotation, which is the issue, right? So let's say you're, you're here somewhere, you've lifted your club because everybody kind of knows that you should be up further in that top position. Now, Naturally, the golfer wants to go to the target, right? You want to hit the ball, the ball's down there. Your body knows this, so it starts to rotate. So now your chest and upper body starting to rotate hard, but your club's trapped behind you because you never gave it a chance. You never had the club in front of you. So now you're stuck. What happens is your face is wide open. Your body is way ahead of your lower body, way ahead of your arms, way ahead of your, your wrists and your club face. And then your body has to actually stall and stop. And then you're starting to flip right? So that's the problem. Then you're starting to flip and then you're stuck to flip. And that is a lot of inconsistency because you cannot time that consistently well. Not even a tour player can, right? So this is a very common thing that happens to even good players when they're out of sync. Some, and some people especially that have a tendency for a little bit of a shallower swing. This is a tough one. So to stay out of jail, we want to make sure that that club face at that eight to nine o'clock position is outside of our hands or covering it. Cause that will actually allow us to have a much steeper shoulder turn, have that. And when I say steeper shoulder turn, this is what I'm referring to, not flat, steeper. And then we have a lot of space here. See all that space I have here, which is exactly what we need to drop our hands down and stay much more in front of the body. We always want to have our chest and the front, like the chest and our club really kind of not opposite each other is obviously a lag, but we do not want the chest and the club to be just disconnected. We want to make sure that this triangle here, that was a square, this triangle, not this triangle, is actually maintained, especially in pitching in a short game and the longer swing and in the driver, there's a little bit more lag and difference, but that we're able to 
have that nice shoulder turn and then drop our hands down, keep them in front of our body and being able to cover and actually drive towards the target and not be stuck behind ourselves. So that's essentially how you stay out of jail. And it's funny that something that happens just before impact is actually caused by something that happened just after the takeaway. So make sure you pay attention to that takeaway. Um, my good friend David Lepper just brought out another training aid. It's called Straight Away. If you want to get it and if you want to buy it, it's in the link below. So make sure you get yourself one. It's a great training aid to get your takeaway correct to do exactly as I described. So check it out. It's one of the best ones out there and I really, really enjoy it. I have it myself. So I work on it, you know, on a weekly basis. And I'm not a huge training aid person, but that one I'm telling you, it's absolutely worth it. Here's a good drill for you to make sure that you can stay unstuck and that you are getting a good takeaway. I just like to put my grip into my belly button here and then rotate with my belly button. So this connection between your belly button and your chest and your club is really important. So now you've rotated and see where that puts my club face. It puts it outside my hands. And then all you have to do is hinge and rotate your shoulders up. And now you're perfect. You're not in jail. You're not down here. This will put any golfer back on plane. Again, you grab your club, you grip down on it right here, and then you actually turn back with your belly button, have that club face outside your hands, hinge, turn, go. And that same feeling we take into our full swing. So I hope you enjoyed this little session on how to stay out of jail, how to stay the golf jail and how to stay unstuck. And I cannot wait to see you guys in my next session. Like, subscribe, leave me a comment. I always love to hear from you guys. See you next time.